Welcome to Electron Line. Just so we make sure that we understand the three methods, we're going to go through all of them again, but with a more complicated data set. So here we go back to our sit-ups and push-ups and finding a linear relationship between them via the equation y equals mx plus b. And we're going to use method one to do so, and we've already pre-prepared ourselves by finding the number of data points, which is equal to 10, the sum of all the x values, which is the sum of the first row, the sum of all the y values, which is the second row. Then we need to find the sum of all the x values squared. So we square each one of them, 27 squared plus 22 squared plus 15 squared, all the way through, add them all up, and that gives you a value of 13,638. And finally, the product of all the x and y values, and you sum them all up, 27 times 30, plus 22 times 26, plus 15 times 25, all the way through, add them all up, and you get 14,214. You may want to go through that yourself to verify that those are the numbers you get. Now the next step to find the equation, we need to find the slope, and we need to find the intercept, and we can do so by solving these two equations simultaneously. So now let's plug in the values that belong there. So since n is equal to 10, we get 10 times b, plus the sum of all the x's, which is 350 times m, is equal to the sum of all the y's, which is 380. For the second equation, the sum of all the x's times b, which is 350b, plus the sum of all the x squares times m, which is 13,638m, is equal to the sum of all the x times y's, which is 14,000 214. And now we have to solve those two equations simultaneously. Now notice that this is exactly 35 times as big as this. So if I multiply the first row by negative 35, I will get a minus 350b here and a plus 350b when I add the two together. They disappear and only have one variable left. So let's try that. I'm going to multiply the top equation by a negative 35. And of course, I have to multiply both the left and the right side by that. When I do that, I get the following. Let's write it down here. So we get a minus 350b minus 350 times 35, which is a minus 12,250. Minus 12,250m is equal to, and then again, negative 35 times 380. I get 13,300, negative of course, 13,300. So I multiply the top equation by negative 35. Now I add to that the bottom equation. So I get 350b plus 13,638m is equal to 14,214. Now I add those together. Notice the b drops out, that becomes zero. Then I add those two together. So we have 13, 638 minus 12, 250. That gives us 1388 plus 1388m is equal to, and here we get 14,214 uh, minus 13,300, 914. All right. It looks like something is not adding up because that will not give us the right value for m. Oh, I don't know that because I was comparing it to the first problem we did with the very different data, so I'm not looking for 2.1. This is probably correct. So we go m is equal to 914 divided by 1388, which is equal to, I was thinking it's supposed to be 2.1, but that's of course not the case. So here we have a slope of 0 0.6585, 6585. I'm going to keep a few extra decimal places, which are not significant, of course, but at least we have that number. Now we need to find b, and we can find b by taking our first equation and writing this as 10b plus 350 times m. Now m is equal to... 0 0.6585 and that should equal 
uh, let's see here, we are right here, equals 380. So now when we plug in the value for m into our first equation, we can now solve for b. So we have 10b plus times 350, 350 equals, that will be 230.48. 0 .48, 0 .48 equals 380, move that to the other side, we have 10b is equal to 380 minus 230.48. So subtract that from 380. We get 149.5, so 10B equals 149.5. So divide both sides by 10. We get B is equal to 14.95, which is of course approximately equal to 15. So now, plug in our equation, we get y is equal to the slope m, so let's round it off to 0 0.66, 0 0.66, um, and that would be 0.66x, and plus 15, and there's our linear equation that matches those 10 data points, and so now we can use it as a predictive equation, you plug in the number of x, which is the number of push-ups, it will give us a corresponding number of y. Remember the correlation was moderate to strong, it wasn't a very strong correlation, which means that you want to exactly give you the right value for every student, but it'll get you fairly close based upon those da 10 data points. And so this gives us y, which is the number of sit-ups, as a function of x, the number of push-ups, and that is how it's done.